YouTube, it's your boy Spray Paint back at you another video, man. The other half of it's time for that Coach for the Street podcast. Smash that like button. We're back in these YouTube streets with another segment. So right now we're gonna talk about Brick Baby on Gay Fake Hoover being on other dudes platform. Now if y'all don't know, bro, Brick Baby just went over there to back on feed. And bro, that was a lit interview. It seemed like Brick Baby fit perfectly over there with them boys. But not to get off subject, T-Rail and Smack asked him what's up with niggas giving uh, Tony Will Rich the sub sandwich when he was on the show, you know, making the culture look bad. And Brick Baby said that he didn't even know that Tony Will Rich was from Hoover until five minutes before the show. And if he would have knew that, he would have declined the interview because he wasn't trying to make the coach a little bad. But the main person was behind this whole interview was Poetic Flacco. Y'all know Flacco is the most instigating civilian I ever seen. Every time he make a segment, he always talking about it's a crazy war going on and people finna die and all this. Y'all know how he be exaggerating. But anyway, he was like, yeah, Flacco was the one that set it up, and his motive was to tell Tony Will Rich that he wasn't no crip, and tell him, you know, if that's the case, if you feel like you from 52nd, why don't you go over there on Hoover Street on 52nd and knock on the G homie house door and see will a day accept you? And, you know, basically he told him, you know, he, he told him that at the end of the show, I got to give him that. He let him say how he, you know, was introduced to it and everything else. And at the end of the show, you know, that's when Brick Baby went to telling him, like, bro, you ain't from the culture, so, you know, you need to stop doing, you know, saying that you from Hoover. But anyway, like I was saying, I was happen to see these two group of black people that have been crashing out on each other for years, getting along like grown folks, you know what I mean? And like I said... Brick Baby fit perfectly over there with them boys. They was vibing. And this the same thing Nipsey Hussle was speaking to existence before he passed, bro. That it's time for people to put black over red over blue. It's time for people to put black over orange over baby blue. You know what I mean? It's bigger than just flying colors. It's a bigger war outside. And we steady looking at each other crazy, man. So... Shout out to them boys for showing showing the world that some people in L.A. can get along. Because for years, you know, people ain't been getting along in L.A. You know, wherever you at, that's where you at. And niggas used to frown upon where niggas was from. But y'all drop a comment below and let me know how y'all feel about that situation. About Brick Baby going on back on feed. Saying that, you know, checking Tony Wheelridge, letting him know that. You know, you're not from Hoover, bro. I'm gone.